What about the buffet goers? It's just the same, I mean, it's the same trip, right? So it's like the same joke every time, but it's not a joke. Like, I just don't understand what's wrong with the people that fill their cup all the way with Coca-Cola and then drink half of it at the fountain, blocking the other dispensers, and then fill the second half up again. You can't possibly be that thirsty. You're walking around with like a two liter plastic jug with Mickey Mouse on it and one of those fucking like corrugated plastic straws. I w I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad, okay? I, I don't want this to be misconstrued as just trying to make people feel bad. But there were also a lot of times in the morning when I, well, like one specific example, I was eating breakfast early because my wife and my baby like to sleep in a little bit. I like to be there when the buffet opens because I'm not doing anything else, right? I'm on vacation. I wish I could sleep more, but I've become like my parents. I just kind of like wake up when I wake up and then it's like I might as well start doing some stuff. But anyway, so I go to the, I go to the buffet and you'll hear like... I guess I'll buy you, sell you, so I get a little buff here, right? I, I heard... And people... I'm not sure that all of these couples are, like, okay. Why am I running four squad? Oh, because I want to get the rat. Because it'll be, like, 7.50 in the morning, and the couples are, like, already getting snippy with each other. And I'm like, you're on vacation. Like, at least wait till you got a couple of Mickey bars in you or something like that, right? I remember the, the wife was sitting down. They were, like... I don't know, maybe mid-30s couple. The wife was sitting down with their young kid, and then the dad was like, what do you want to drink? And the wife, like, sighed and was like, I'll just take a Coke. And I was like, are you fucking crazy? It's like 7.40 in the morning on a Wednesday. <laughs> Your ass was like, I'm going to take a Coca-Cola? Not even, like, a, a Coke Zero or something? Like a... Water, tea, coffee, juice. Like, I just... Maybe get, yeah, like, like a Jack and Coke or something like that. If you're gonna... If you're gonna go wild on. I also... I, I was thinking, it's so cute, like, on the first day of the cruise, you walk around to some of the other rooms and people, like, decorate their doors. So you'll see some that are like, you know, my high school graduation is this week. Woo! You'll see some people that are like, you know, we just got married or like, it's our first vacation or whatever. And then I was thinking about it when I was at the buffet and I saw this like 70 year old woman just walking. And then a, a 70 year old man came up behind her and grabbed her arm and went, we're sitting outside. You need to listen to me sometimes. And I just thought about how like so many doors I walked by were, were like, it's our 40th wedding anniversary. Like it's our 50th. 55th wedding anniversary. <laughs> the, the, some situations, I think the door might betray the situation that's going on inside of the room. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm being too judgmental, have been suggested. I think people, they just go, they go a little crazy on the, in the buffet sometimes. The people that go the wrong way in the line too is just and I'm gonna again I'm saying I'm I'm too judgmental. I'm saying that for a fact, okay? But if you cut in front of me in the buffet line or you're trying to go in the five prime to three prime direction when we go in the three prime to five prime direction, your plate better be immaculate. Cause the the number of adults that went the wrong way through the buffet line, thus causing everybody that's going in line the right way to have to go ramp and like back up so that you can go to the french fries on the other side because you don't like the french fries on the side where you came in. Every single plate was just mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, french fries. I saw a dude at breakfast and I was losing my mind. We're, he, we're in the buffet, he's carrying a plate of breakfast food but he's bumping into people because while he's carrying the plate of breakfast food, he's eating a donut as well while he's still in line. But, and like trying to maneuver. And I'm like, just wait till you get to the fucking table. Like, I don't, I, I don't care that you're eating a donut. It doesn't bother me. But it's like, it's like, I don't care if you're texting. But if you're texting and driving, then you should fucking pull over or something, dude. It's crazy. You're just going nuts. You're, you're doing way too much. Anyway, hello, Simvicta. I saw you. People said, get ignored. I did not ignore. I didn't see. Then I saw people say, get ignored. And I said, oh, I ignored. K 
kids also running full speed with plates of food. I mean, I'm biased, but like, when a kid makes an, a lapse in judgment, I'm like, they're seven. Like, what am I? What am I gonna do? Be like, ah, you know, that's what their kids for. They gotta, they gotta learn. It's when like a 55 year old dude wearing like a Miami Heat NBA Finals 2023 shirt. Ooh, does he know? <laughs> is coming the wrong way through the buffet because he's like, I my station had steak fries and I only want like shoestring fries instead. That's when I start to, that's when I start to get a little judgmental. I'm like, bro, you had like 17 years before I even stepped foot on this planet to get your shit together. And you're out here still fucking it up. And you're on vacation, you got no excuse. You got, oh, you can't be like, oh, sorry, I was stressed. Your ass has been watching the Golden Mickeys. It's the greatest show on the, on the Seven Seas. Lumberjack show was pretty fire, though, dude. Anyone ever been to the Lumberjack? Did I ask that already? Anyone ever been to the Lumberjack show in Ketchikan, Alaska? I was... Can somebody look this up for me? I went to the Great Lumberjack show. It was an hour. I was laughing so hard, by the way. So Goofy came out. We're supposed to watch some dudes with chainsaws, like, cut through logs really fast and then chop stuff down with an axe. They were, Goofy came out and said, before we get started, we need every kid in the audience to come down for a little activity. And then I swear to you, the dude just said, start doing jumping jacks. And some of the kids were doing jumping jacks. Some of the kids were like, what the hell? And they had, he had him doing jumping jacks for like 20 seconds. And he was like, oh, yuck, all right, now push-ups. Uh, these little kids, are getting, they've been on the cruise just eating chicken nuggets and mac and cheese and freebasing soda for six days straight. He's like, give me some push-ups. Give me, oh, up next, give me some sit-ups. And the, I'm watching, like, the cheeks get so rosy and stuff like that. It was so good. Nobody else thought it was as funny as me. Anyway. Can somebody look up, though? Has anyone ever been killed at one of those lumberjack shows? Because, like, they're, they're, like, 30 feet away from you or something like that. Like, it's not, they're not close. But they're swinging those axes, like, tum, tum. you could, like, one could slip out, or, like, uh, they could just throw it when they just have a bad day or something like that. Have there been any accidents at the Great Lumberjack show? I was, I didn't like when they were, like, chopping, and then the backswing was facing the audience. When they went around for the other cut, and they were chopping, I was like, there's no way he's just gonna heave the, like, blade side in here. Disney would kill every witness on the cruise before that story got out. It was, I mean, I agree. <laughs> but also, there was a part of me that was like, because we were, I don't want to blow up their spot, but we were in line for the restaurant, and then two dudes in lumberjack uniforms came and stood behind us, because it was like a long line. They, they came out of the lumberjack show and like got in line for lunch behind us, and they started talking about how they were like so hungover, and they like, stayed out really late last night, but it was a lot of fun, which is fine. The show was great. But if you, my ass was definitely thinking about it when they started swinging those axes. Like maybe today's the day, man. So there's been no accidents? This doesn't seem right to me. I'm sure there's been an accident. Not with the chainsaw. I get the chainsaw stopped spinning, but they had like just axes. I know they're not real lumberjacks. What, they're, they're real. Well, I mean, they're not, they don't work in the logging industry. But apparently they competed in collegiate timber sports, which I didn't know was a thing. But apparently it is. A teacher died in 2002 at a lumberjack show in Juneau. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know, okay? Because it just, I was running the numbers. I think I'm, I'm not great at reasoning, but I think I'm good at estimating. So I was doing, you know what? There's like, they're doing eight shows a day times 30 years this thing's been available surely somebody's been hit by like an errant axe handle or something like that i guess it is more dangerous to be like the lumberjack than to be in the audience but that's not how it felt you know what's a to to take a reused bit but then make it like um a little fresher by adding costco to it hang on thank you new spinosaurus i appreciate that um the way that people behave in the buffet on a Disney cruise, I would say is roughly the same way that people drive their carts in Costco. So if you were ever wondering how messed up it gets when Cabanas opens or like 15 minutes before Cabanas closes, oh man.